Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. And um, today I just got a quick tip that I got to share with you guys. What's up, everybody? It's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. All right, so just now I'm working on a track that for a project, uh, and um, I'm trying to, you know, still get my uh, Studio One um, workflow down. And um, this is kind of an uh, an add-on to the gain staging video because, um, you know, as I was going through Studio One. Um, version three i'm trying to find a solution for um you know how can i how can i make this process faster as far as as far as being able to lower the gain of my faders um but not have to go to everyone and adjust the uh adjust the plug in and adjust the mix tool and you know that that could be kind of daunting and we're always looking to do stuff fast so here's the track uh, real quick that i have it's just um this is me um just working in it right Okay, so you, you look at my master fader, my main fader, I'm peeking everywhere, you know, um, there's no gain staging done, I'm just working right now. So now I'm at the point where, you know, I want to do a quick mix and, um, you know, send this over, um, you know, to the a and and, you know, see what he has to think about the track. This is something that, that he asked for specifically. And um, I'm just thinking, I'm just like, I'm excited and I'm thinking like, yo, how can I, how can I just speed this stuff up a, a little bit? Now this feature, I'm not going to be showing you, you know, some feature that, that if you've been following up with Studio One Three, like it's not some breathtaking feature that I just figured out, but it's an application for a new feature that makes sense to the stuff that I've already been teaching. So if you've been looking, um, or if you haven't, uh, Studio One now has it to where you can highlight all of the uh all of the tracks on a mixer you know just whichever ones you want to work on so you go ahead and you know make sure you got all your tracks highlighted and you can take um a plugin say a plugin that you've inserted on another insert track click um click on it hold down alt you see how it says it's going to copy and then drag it to one of these um one of these channels and it's going to copy across the whole channel um across all of the all of the channels i should say so the reason why this is effective right you know before when i would get when i would gain stage um before we had this i would go and i would take you know take all my faders down um play the track find the kick you know bring it up to a level where I felt, you know, that I'm going to be able to, you know, stay in that sweet spot that I showed you guys before of not peaking over negative six. So the next step in the process would be to lower everything by negative seven, right? Because before when I was working, okay, I've got, um, I've got the entire song, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not touching my faders because, you know, obviously I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not messing with the faders as far as volume balancing. That's, you know, that's why I'm using, you know, mix tool to do that for me in the preliminary stages of creation. So I have this. Then if I decide, okay, I need to get this mix down to, um, to negative six overall, I'm going to take it. You see, now we're peaking where I want to peak at negative six. So I'll take it down a little bit more. Perfect. So I see that everything needs to go down negative seven dB, right? So the easiest way to do for the easiest way that I figured out how to do it, you know, um, is to go ahead and to insert a mix tool. Um, plug in turn it turn it down you know negative seven 
on uh on one channel so in order to get this spread across the entire mixer on um, you know on every single channel minus 7 db you're going to hold down alt click and drag and now you see how it filled out under and you want to make sure that you that you that you do it underneath whatever working plugins you have so that it doesn't affect any processing that you had before now all i got to do is control click to bring all these back to zero and watch and let's um let's take a look at the main fader now You see, and that just took, you know, that took literally a couple minutes. And now, now I've got all of my faders back at Unity and I'm really ready to, uh, to go ahead and mix the entire, the entire project is gain staged and, you know, um, definitely thanks to studio one version three for coming through with that feature, because that is going to save me and now you a whole lot of time so i just wanted to share that with you guys there's nothing groundbreaking but it's a big workflow enhancer if you're following along with the gain stage and the mixing tutorials um this is concrete zebra with craftmaster productions studio one tutorials.com and i'll see you guys on the next one